Did you tell your family yet? If I have to? Uh, I mean, I guess you could just pretend to go to work every day. I had never been to Philadelphia before, which is crazy, because living in New York for 20 years, it's only, you know, an hour and a half to get there. But I did feel like I had an understanding of that place being from Massachusetts and being from a suburb of Boston. I felt like Medford to Boston was like Delco to Philly. If you've got something you want to tell me, you better do it now, because I'm going to start digging through your life, and I'm going to find out everything. Kate Winslet is definitely one of the best in the game, and I've been a fan of hers long before I knew her. And then we met through her then husband, my husband, 16 years ago, something like that. So I've known her for a long time. Her work ethic is out of control. I mean, she was an executive producer on Mare also, so she was just always there, always supportive, always with this binder of all the scripts with notes and post-its and highlighters and just making sure we all knew where we were. I and mean, she's just got a natural talent and ease and movie star quality. Jean, just the minute you meet her, just takes you in. You feel like in the best way, like anyone she's ever met. Just She just gives you her attention. She's dry, she's funny, she's no nonsense. And she just wears it all so casually and well. Why didn't you come to me? Or... No! Just one thing. Why can't you just leave it alone? I understand Lori's decisions. I feel like terrible things happened, accidents happened, and I understand and can completely relate to her want and need to protect her child. You have John. Why couldn't you just leave it alone? It's Ryan. It's Ryan! It's my Ryan! My Ryan! It was an accident. He doesn't even know how to hold a gun. Ryan is not completely innocent because he still did steal a gun to threaten a young woman with, which is pretty bad. But I also tell my kids and you do stupid shit when you're young, and you don't think the next thought. I'm not a lawyer, though I have played one on TV. I feel like she's, or she's suffering all the consequences in her life. I don't think she needs to be, you know, behind bars. I feel like John is, is paying a price for it, and Ryan is, um, but I'm open to, you know, being told, no, actually, this means you have to go to jail or pay such and such a fine. I, I probably wouldn't appeal that. Get away from me. I don't want to see you again. I was nervous to do our final scene, Kate and I, in the kitchen, because I felt like the whole story for Lori and, and this friendship culminated in that scene. Lori. I just felt nervous, like I, ho I felt like there was a place we needed to get and I hoped that we would. Brad Inglesby, the writer, did a beautiful job getting us to that point so he didn't f need to overwrite dialogue to convey what was happening between these two characters. And Kate and I didn't speak a lot about emotionally where we were each coming from. I think we both trusted that we both had our own experiences going on and we would see how that would come together. But we did mark out the blocking of it because it was written that Laurie falls to the floor, which I was terrified of doing in any believable way. <sighs> we worked it out and she fell and then it sort of, it just naturally landed in that, in that, in that moment with us on the floor. So it, I think it worked <laughs> ultimately. <sighs> I hope for Lori that she finds peace and that she is able to help her children find happiness in their lives too.